So I've got uh, Coughlin's emergency tender and I've got the uh, blast match and uh, I'm just gonna rip them out of the box. I don't know how to operate them so if this stuff is easy then I should just be able to rip this stuff out of the box and uh, get something going. That's what I think. Read their directions already on the the tender so you're supposed to squeeze it and then pull it. Oh god. What the heck is this stuff? It's all waxy and gummy. Well, that's interesting. Oh, this is gummy waxy crap. Oh, how do you open this thing? Can't even open it. Okay, I can't do this. Oh, I have no idea how to open this now. This is messed up. See, if it was in a survival situation, then the suburban dude would be dead. Okay. Well, that looks like a latch. See? Damn it. Janet. I don't know how this works. Okay, now what? I thought you just press down on it like this. Well, how the hell does this work? Instructions. Place thumb on blast match cap to nice to... What? Oh, there we go. I think I pressed down on this little, this little thing here. I think I pressed down on that. Oh, there we go. Uh, that, uh, look at the, that's what I just did when I pressed down it. Wang! Cool. So now I can just get my cigarette and light this thing. So anyway, uh, the blast match, uh, the blast match from uh, Ultimate Survival, and uh, Coughlin's, Coughlin's Tinder. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Maybe I should learn that. Uh, this stuff says it's non-toxic, which I like that. If you've got a bug out bag that you're, you're going to keep for a long time, and you're going to have food in there, then it would be good to have... Um, something in there that's non-toxic because whenever you store food and different chemicals together the stuff comes out uh, leaches out of, of of most containers and gets into the food and it can be bad so anyway again flint and steel basically and all right, all right. whoa holy crud do you see that that must be the stuff over here